What's going on everybody? So today I want to talk about the account and the tournaments and also summon our first sacred shard on the account for a few reasons, but let's just not waste any time and jump straight into it. So on my previous videos, I was asking, because for those of you that watched my previous videos, you would know that they've summoned a Bellower up here um, that uh, I got from my first Void Shard, which is actually a pretty solid pull from our first Void Shard. But through the Prime Gaming, we actually acquired Kunoichi, and we also have Rock and the War Maiden that we're going to continue to use. Um, we do have a Shaman now, um, which I am not really interested in using too much. And we also have the Chinoru, uh, which I also don't really like that much. Really, the only characters I, I like on my account right now for future purposes, Kunoichi, War Maiden, Aethel. Um, Valerie is actually not bad. She's a decent, uh, supportive type character and actually can be interesting by increasing the duration of all buffs on all allies with something like um, ally protection and then also de or increasing, um, yeah, so increasing the, the duration of all allies. I, for some reason, I, I read this um, a little bit differently, but yeah, so you're going to be increasing the, the duration of the ally protection if you time it correctly, which could be very, very powerful to have a permanent ally protection up um which could be very very good but if you manage the stun right and i think if you time it right it shouldn't matter um but this is going to be a really really nice access for clan boss as well because of the leech so i actually really like kunoichi here uh, so I, I think that i'm going to be focusing in on her however with the sacred shard because this thing can pull any epic and it's guaranteed to be an epic this could be some massive massive changes now um you can see here there is an event going on right now and we have a 10x for some of the sylvan watchers legendaries you can see here green warden rourke um we have elva autumnborn and we also have king galkabar which all of which seem to be decent they don't seem to be bad at all and we also have the sylvan watcher epics which to be honest i know very little about the sylvan watcher faction because i know that they came out a couple of weeks ago uh so i'm not really quite sure on what to expect about them but i figure okay if we do happen to pull a sylvan watchers character i'm completely okay with that because well it's a new faction and it could be kind of fun um granted i, I am trying to be at least somewhat efficient but I, I think that at this point, it's a little bit more fun uh, to just pull the shard and see what I get. Because before I start investing in Konoichi, this epic, because it could be anything, could mean a big deal. We also have to go over the tournament here. But first, we're going to summon the Sacred Shard. Again, what I'm looking for, if you guys watched my previous video on the top five epics, I'm not sure if I released the top five legendaries that would change my account. We're looking for someone like Deacon. Uh, we're looking for someone like... Um, skull crusher uh maybe someone like seeker tayrell would be solid there's a lot of solid epics here that can really change the account so let's go for it a little nervous uh but i really hope it's something good epic and he <laughs> got a leak <laughs> oh my goodness that is a tragedy so <laughs> She's actually not terrible, um, I guess. She's got the AoE with increasing enemy skills by one turn, which can be very good in something like Arena. Um, she also has to ignore defense if uh, they have higher max HP. And then she has a basic, which also goes ahead and has a always critical hit on the extra hit, which is interesting. I don't know. I mean, she's just pretty mediocre, which is a little unfortunate but we did pull the sacred and i wasn't too worried about it because there is the revenant's path going on right now so we did get 4500 points which is a lot closer to our plans which i went over in the last video so there is a few reasons why i wanted to pull the sacred not just for um kunoichi whether or not i want to go for kunoichi but now that we got our points we got alika and we still have Kanoichi. I'm definitely going to continue to invest into Kanoichi. That's not really a question anymore. Um, I'm going to go straight into her and we're going to see what we can do with her. Um, I might, you know, research her a little bit just to make sure for sure, but I think that's going to be the plan for now. I don't really know of any other option that I ha really have, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to keep Alika for now, um, but I don't know if I'm going to be using her anytime soon. Definitely not someone that I am interested in using right now. Let me know if any of you have seen a use for alika um, or, or some crazy thing the really only thing that pops out to me is maybe faction wars which is going to be way down the line um or something like uh running 
a, a arena comp where you can put her in like turn three you go like speed booster into defense down into um alika and then into nukes that they can't use their skills or whatever something like that i could see but you know what she's the one uh the ally protection is going to really help out in the leech i think so that's exciting but now on to tournament talk this is something that i wasn't sure if i'm going to be even able to compete and i actually feel like i have a chance of taking at least second spot third spot maybe um which could be very very interesting i thought about maybe even pushing for first spot uh, but I think I will guarantee actually complete the whole event, which is very, very interesting. I did not think I was going to get anywhere near close. I thought I was going to get lucky and maybe get 5k points, but I'm actually very, very close to on the way after the first day or so. Uh, I'm already 2k points uh, and I have a lot more energy to use here. You'll note I have a ton of challenges. I've been completing the challenges to get a bunch of energy. Uh, you can see I have the free shop, which is actually going to be an ancient shard. And I have a couple of energy refills here. And then, of course, I have the missions. Uh, if I go ahead and do stage five Minotaur and then get the three tier three masteries, I'm going to or tier two masteries, I'm going to get 100 energy. And then I can continue onwards and just continuously slap out a bunch of energy missions which will be really really useful and then on top of that i could pick up um, some chicken hopefully either the five star chicken or the immortal soul stone and then use that to promote my characters so basically everything is kind of pushing me towards uh really accessing this event at least in third place or so um and to really just hammer home the full completion of them event which is really really nice um because i do have quite a few uh four stars primed you can see their max level I'm just leveling up the fodder now to go ahead and get my second uh, six star ready. I should probably start upgrading uh, Kunoichi as well because that'll be an exciting time. So lots of potions available to me as well so I can use those in helping me level up champions. I really think I have an option to get a free death knight here, um, which could be very, very good for my account. Just to give you a quick glimpse for those of you out there that might have gotten a free death knight or maybe didn't know what death knight does um he's actually very very good especially in the early game he's gonna have a passive that's gonna increase his hp defense and speed for each death ally which is actually very good in the early game although you know kind of is, is useless later on um also too awesome to die whenever an ally's attack has 100 percent chance of completely blocking one hit decreasing the incoming damage to zero um, and he's gonna take the damage so that is super, super powerful, um, where you could just randomly ignore death. And then shield buff, continuous heal on all allies, proportional to his defense. And then we have decrease attack and fear um, on legendary characters, and then a basic with provoke. Um, this is really, really nice. AoE decrease attack can be very, very nice. AoE shield plus continuous heal. This guy is actually a game changer for you in the early game, in my opinion. Um, I think a lot of people kind of undersell him, especially since they're way past the beginning game. But this guy is really, really massive, especially considering he's forced. So he'll help me out in the arena quite a bit. So um, I really hope that I'm able to go ahead and acquire him. It would be cool um, to go ahead and get him because I know a lot of you out there do have him. But also, if I don't get him, I'm not going to be too upset because, well, I'm still leveling up champions which is literally what i wanted to do anyways so there's literally no downside for me right like i'm going to go for my six star on kunoichi i'm actually thinking about buying the masteries on her as well um depending on you know kind of how that goes i, I think i'll buy the masteries on her because it might be a while before i can actually solo uh minotaur or actually do minotaur minotaur 15 with Aethel. And I don't think the energy efficiency really starts to make sense until 14. I think once you get stage 14, it's more energy efficient to go ahead and purchase energy refills and then run Minotaur. But until then, I believe it's going to be better to just buy the mastery straight up. And so I think that's what I'll do on Kunoichi. Um, and then after that, I'll start farming my mastery. So I think that's what the plan is. I have a lot to do on this account and I'll be continuously pushing. I'll give you guys an update in a couple days here um, on the tournament and how that goes. But if you guys want to check out a video tomorrow, uh, be sure to sub to the channel, like the content, and I'll have a video out for you all tomorrow. And I'm really, really excited to pull my ancient shards, but this one, I'm definitely waiting for a 2X because I have a lot of them and I, I could get unlucky right now and get an auto a single epic um so the rng is just too high for me to summon the ancient shards right now but i'll be waiting for that 2x which will happen in about a week from now i believe and then i'll be able to pull all my ancient shards and then in about a week i should have kunoichi six star and i should have enough fodder to go ahead and six star a third character once i pull them out of the portal so check that out video check that video out if you want to uh, by summoning the channel and i'll see you all tomorrow